Hey, hey, this is Pastor Jerry here in the office, 1133 Pacific Standard Time on um, a Wednesday morning. And um, this is a subject that is near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Are we tone deaf Christians? Um, are we Christians who, um, don't hear the tone that we're talking to people in? Are we Christians who say what we want to say and let the chips fall where they may? Are we the kind of Christians who don't know how to speak the truth in love because we're irritated, we're frustrated, or that's our nature? Are we the kind of Christians who, when you have a point to make, you want to make the point, and if people get injured in the process, oh well, they need to get over it. I hope we're not. But unfortunately, the more and more I'm alive and, and, and around Christians, um, we seem to lose the tact, the love that Christ gave us through his grace. And also, we as Christians seem to, for, seem to forget from which we've come because we get irritated at our brothers and sisters in Christ and even those who aren't saved, especially those who aren't saved, uh, we need to have more grace for. But we forget where we used to be and then we treat people where we think they should be instead of where they are right now. And so today, I, I'm, you know, I just want to kind of give some suggestions, some thoughts from my 20 plus years of, of ministry about how to talk to people. Now, I'm on the other end of the spectrum. Uh, I'm someone who, I don't like hurting people's feelings. Um, and um, I don't I don't really like to, you know, I don't, I, I, I used to didn't want people to be mad at me. Um, and I'm still that way to a point. By the same token too, um, I've learned as a leader, if I communicate something well and I speak the truth in love, I have to allow God to do the, the work for me. But it is incumbent upon me to make sure that I've done my part as a Christian to make sure that the words that I speak to people are truthful and in love. Um, the Bible talks about the fact that um, it's important to um, um, always speak in love. And here's here's the situation. Um, people say, well, that's just me. Well, that's just how I am. Well, they need to get over it. Well, again, are you like Christ? And, you know, I heard a, a very good quote from Jimmy Evans. He says, the truth without love, oh, sorry, love without truth is meaningless and truth without love is just mean. I'll say it again. Speaking the speaking love without truth is meaningless, meaning that if you're just all gushy, ushy, ushy, and you have no, um, if you don't give people a reason to think about what they just did or, or, or think about your point, well, all the love you've spoken to them is just, is just meaningless. On the contrary, when you are, speaking truth to someone and there is no grace, there's no uh, forgiveness, there's no thought of the fact that they are a child of God also, just like you are. When you are speaking truth without love, it's just plain mean. And um, that's why we get tone deaf because we are so accustomed to hearing our own voices that we get deaf deafened to hear or to think about how someone else feels when we say that. And the issue is that we become so self-centered. We become so focused on, well, I've got to speak the truth. Well, they need to hear this, that we first got to say, okay, does God want me to say this to them? And then number one, and then number two, does he want you to say it right now? Does he want you to say it in this season? And if all those answers are yes, then you've got to go, okay, Lord, how do I deliver your message to them, not my message, but your message. And the issue is that sometimes we get so caught up in just blaring things out that we forget that we've got to always represent Christ. And so, you know, I'll give you an example of, of my marriage. You know, there's certain times that I say things, my wife says things that are hurtful, not mean, but just, you know, 
Samuel Kurt uh, with a little attitude. And so we, then we step back, you know, without the kids around and we'll say, hey, listen, um, that hurt my feelings. And then I, so let's say I said it. I immediately say, hey, honey, um, I'm sorry. Hey, Tyrone, what did I say wrong? And she tells me. All I can say at that point is I apologize. I'm not going to justify what I said because now, unless that, it's hard to put this in a way that doesn't sound goofy. Even if she's in the wrong, I'm in more in the wrong because I spoke over her. And as a husband, the Bible tells me that my words are going to wash her with the word or my voice is like washing her with the word. So it's going to purify her and sanctify her by washing her with the word. So husbands, we've got to make sure that our tone to our wives is the same tone that we want to hear from Christ because we are the church. Christ is the groom. Our wives are to us, our church, and we are to our wives, the groom. And we have to treat our wives the same way Christ treats the church. That's with love, compassion, forgiveness, and grace. So when you are speaking to people in a tone that is condescending, that is um, arrogant, it's incumbent upon you to go back and say, hey, listen, I want to make sure that I didn't come across in a derogatory way. And if you did, and if even, even if they're being a baby, hey, hey, Brother Joseph, hey, you know what? I apologize. Here's what I meant to say. Because it's really incumbent upon us to make sure, because see, all we care about as a Christian is that we speak it in love and that God's word for that person gets delivered. And when we aren't speaking the truth in love, it's meaningless. It's meaningless and it's downright mean. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't speak to people truthful things, um, but it's all in your volume because volume does not mean you're right. Sarcasm should never, ever, 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 ever be used when you're trying to, to, to convey a godly message. And you and 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 when you're speaking to someone, you, you also have to understand that you don't want to always be right, but you want to always maintain relationship. And when I have a conflict with my family, my kids, church partners, I don't always want to be right because I know that for that season to them, I may not be right. So what I do is if they disagree, I say, hey, I love you and let's just pray together or or and then either God will change my heart or God will change their heart. But, um, you know, I, I just have to deal with that and watch people deal with that a lot over the past couple of weeks. And I'm like, you know, that that's that's not like Christ at all. Um, now, he did. He was very curt to the Pharisees, the know-it-alls, uh, the spiritual bastards. But I mean. Even with the people who didn't know him, even with the people who were just downright ignorant, he, you know, he was always loving and, and compassionate. So anyway, that's my say for the day. Um, let's not be tone deaf Christians. Let's make sure that we're speaking the truth in love. That, again, love without truth is meaningless and truth without love is just downright mean. So that's it. Have a great Wednesday. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.